know, in some careers or some job positions, someone can request that you do something and you can respond by simply saying, I'm sorry, but that's not in my job description. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that for teachers. You see, most of the time we don't have an explicit job description. You know, you might look for a job as a teacher and it might tell you that it is a math position or a language arts position or whatever content area that you teach. But the things that a job position for a teacher does not list is the fact that you have to be mentor, you have to be counselor, you have to be mother, you have to be father, big brother, uncle, and the many other things. This past week, I had a student, actually I had two students that cried in my room uh, on separate occasions because they were sharing a situation that they were dealing with. And it made me think in that moment that I had to be something that's not explicitly defined in my job description. And so I'm encouraging you as teachers to make sure that we are being whatever those students need us to be at that given moment. Sometimes it's not easy. Sometimes it's very, very trying, but we have to be more than just a math teacher or a science teacher. We have to be so many other things to these kids because when they leave our class, we want them to be not just better students. We should want them to be better individuals. We should want them to be better citizens so that they can go out there and achieve their goals and their dreams and change the world for the next generation. So I'm encouraging you as a teacher, be whatever that child needs you to be at any given moment. Remember, teachers change lives every day.